Hi, my name is Kevin Jackson, and I work with the Intermapper product line within the health systems family. And today, I'm going to show you how you can monitor things like drip light equipment with Intermapper. First and foremost, uh, the example that we're going to use is an actual APC UPS that we're currently monitoring today. So I have a blank map that I'm looking at. Now, what I want to do is uh, I just want to add the, uh, the IP address of that particular device. So if I right click on the, the map, add device, enter the IP address of my device, I'm able to choose the probe that I want to assign to this particular device. So this is an SNMP enabled device, so I can just select the automatic probe to start. And the mapper will go through and scan, and whether the device speaks SNMP or just a ping, will assign the probe appropriately to that device. So if I right click on this device and I go into the status window, notice that the information that I, that's returned is SNMP information, some basic information about the actual device itself. SNMP allows me to see things like um, some device info, uh, model information, as well as I'm able to see the interface information on that device itself. So if I can click on the interface window and click display the numbered interfaces, and the map will, will now populate the interfaces on that particular device. And I can see the traffic. If there is traffic on those interfaces, I can see that information as well. So right clicking on the device, I go into my info window. This brings up the general info window where I can manage the information that I want to see. If I click on the probes window, notice that the probe that's been assigned to the device is an SMP traffic probe. Now what I want to do is I want to add some additional probes to this device so I can get some additional monitoring information. If I click add probes, Notice that on the left side, we have a listing of probes associated with the product. We have about 200 plus built-in probes within the, the product that you can utilize. And if there's uh, probes that's not within the product, you can create your own custom probe to, to kind of get additional information. So since this is a, an APC UPS, uh, we can uh, kind of browse through and see if we have any information that we can utilize for this particular device. And we have two UPS uh, APC UPS probes that we can use. We support all versions of SNMP, so if your device speaks SNMP, uh, we encourage you to uh, to configure SNMP so we can have a better response. Ensure that the SNMP version and string are consistent with what the probe is showing, and we do, by default, uh, we present V1 with a string of public. So we'll go ahead and add, these are the parameters based on these, uh, these particular arguments that we're looking to monitor. These are fully co uh, configurable and customizable, so let's go ahead and add that one. And then we'll also add the second probe as well. And then see what information we get from there. So if I right click on the icon, I go into my status window. Now I have multiple probes that, that's associated with this particular device, which gives me a probe group. So you can use as many probes as you want to, as long as the, the device maintains the same IP address. Uh, you can use as many probes as you would like, and that creates a probe group. So if I click on the collapse screen here and open it up, I can see some of the information that my probes are, are providing for me and presenting. The firmware, model, status, some battery information here, output, uh, volts, uh, input, et cetera. And I can tell me uh, based on additional information, current temperature, that is recording, et cetera. So some really good information uh, that you are presented with. Uh, we also support the ability to capture traps um, if the device uh, sends only traps, we capture the trapping information within our events log, and the events log are stored locally on the Intermapper server. So they're in the program data directory, Intermapper, Intermapper settings, and logs, and the traps are saved within the event log. So you just browse to the, the latest event log. And you can see the information that is presented. All the events associated with all your devices are saved within this log as well.
And that's how you add a UPS device to a map. Thanks again.